this video, we're going to show you how to quickly create a recurring invoice template for a customer from the customer detail page. So let's get into things. Now, as you can see, I'm on the customer detail page. And if I scroll down to the invoice section, the customer record here does not have a recurring invoice template. Now, I could go to the admin page, then to the invoice section, then to the recurring invoice section, and create a new template from there and look the customer up. Or I can skip all those steps and click new recurring invoice and I will be taken directly to the template page with the customer already selected. There's some required items here that you need to fill out like giving it a name. Often it's the name of the business uh, that the recurring invoice is generating for. You need to choose a frequency which is how often the recurring invoice actually generates. We commonly see monthly, quarterly, and annually, but as you can tell, we have a bunch of options here. Uh, run next at, which is the next time the recurring invoice is set to generate. I'll just choose the end of the month. And the period mode, in arrears or in advance. We commonly see in arrears, but if you bill in advance, that option's here too. Now on the right of the screen, you'll see a bunch of optional settings. Name of the invoice generated, if you want to give the specific name to an invoice. Maybe your client has multiple recurring invoices. If you use commission, you can choose a tech. If you use different invoice templates, you can choose a specific invoice template for this specific recurring invoice. Uh, same with billing terms. If you have a bunch of different types of billing terms, you can choose which one to apply here. There are also a, a bunch of miscellaneous options as well, such as allowing generation of blank invoices. Basically, if you have your recurring template sent to grab pending invoice charges and one month there aren't any, with this option selected, a blank recurring invoice would still be created. You have the option to automatically email the customer when the recurring invoice is created. This is particularly handy if you want the whole system to be automated. I highly recommend this. We do have an integration with the USPS post office. If you want to physically mail like an eight and a half by 11 invoice that's generated from here, you can do so. You can optionally add any pending ticket charges based on ticket status from here, or you can just have all pending ticket charges if you want it as well. Again, this is another highly recommended option that we see a lot of people using if you want the system to be fully automated. If you're using the prepaid system, you can have the invoice also clear and reset prepay hours so that there's no rollover before this generates. If you have a bunch of prices that change a lot, you can also tell this recurring invoice to set the prices to stay in sync with what the inventory detail page says for each product. Going down a little bit further, you can also have the system automatically apply any customer credit that may be left over from previous payments or overpayments that the client might have. Below that, if the client has a contract you'd like to adhere them to, you can select the contract from here and tell the system to create a ticket one month before that contract expires to remind you that the contract is about to expire. All of that could be particularly helpful. Once you've created the recurring template, this is where you can add line items based on different things like a standard line item that's always the same and never changes to maybe an asset counter if you charge a client by device that you support, or maybe if you want to charge them by types of packages they have. Maybe they have some things that are on regular monitoring packages that have a flat rate, and then you have some maybe VIP packages that you sell for their executives. You can add those types of line items from here and customize how they look like on a per recurring invoice basis. So that's how you quickly create a recurring template for a client from the customer detail page. We'll see you in the next one. Take care.